Okay, so we don't know if it's in the cleansing chapel or if it's before the cleansing chapel, but... Um, oh, quickly, before we do that, we also have one other thing to do, and that is to check out something that we missed up here. I'm not sure which elevator it was, but I think it might have been the other one. We went up into a, a room in the cleansing chapel before, and I thought it was empty, but it actually wasn't. So, uh, maybe not that. What is over here? Is this the slug thing? Yeah. Um, okay, so yeah, I think it was that elevator there. Unless it goes down. I think it needs to go up. If it goes down, then... Okay, good. Yep, it was this one. Hello. Okay, so... This lever. Um, already been pulled, so I guess that's just to bring it up. But there was something else. I forget where I saw what it was. I think it was around the side here. Yep, there it is. Ladder. I don't know what's up here, but all I heard was there was a ladder. Oh, and a bell. Oh, a deacon of the deep. You deke. Deep ring. Okay, let's see what this is. Uh, there it is. So, allows attunement for additional spells. A ring bestowed upon the deacons of the Cathedral of the Deep. Allows attunement of additional spells. In the Cathedral slumber things most terrible. And as such, the deacons require require, uh, require a grand narrative to ensure they do not falter in their duty. A philosophy to ward away the madness beckoned by the grotesque uh, by the grotesqueries at hand. Yeah, I guess that's what it is. Grotesqueries? Gro yeah. Alright, cool. So we got that. Then there's also a, uh... Looks like there's something over there as well, so... Alright, cool. I was hoping that wouldn't fuck me over. Another enemy in here. Another deacon, but- Oh fuck. What the hell? Ah, fucking. God damn. A lot of damage. No? Was it actually just the enemy? Okay. Whatever. I guess I was getting like firebombed or something. Oh, oh my god, the fucking pitchy Gren guys, whatever they're called, the thieves, the, yeah. What is down here? Another one of these dudes. Is that all? Yeah, by the looks of it. I can't lock onto him. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'm willing to sacrifice some Estus to get that done. Alright, there's an item along here. And there was a place we could go and in, uh, go into through there as well. Oh. Ooh, Arbalest. Okay, crossbow. Fuck you. Did you fall off? I oh, know. There we go. Okay, seems like there's two of them over there. Hmm. There we are. Pale tongue. Don't really need that. It's just for invading purposes, for some covenant probably. I just did that, I think. 
I think I just hit that same wall twice. Alright, so... I think it's these two. Oh no. Let's go on the first one. Oh my goodness. This is the cathedral. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is terrifying. Oh my god, they're the big guys as well. Oh, fuck me sideways. Oh god. No. I don't even give a fuck if they'll chase me. Bring it on. Bring him outside. Coming over. Goodbye. Goodbye. All these souls, all for me. All these souls. Oh my god, I don't want to fall off. But you can. Go ahead. Yep. Because I gotta be careful here. Ah, that's exactly what I wasn't. There we go. Goodbye. Please give me your weapon. I want that weapon. Ah. Blessed gem. Okay, that's how we make divine weapons, I'm pretty sure. Ah, now we gotta find out, what, find out what's over this side. By the looks of it, we've got to get in those uh, those archways as well, so we can use them to uh, get across certain areas, by the looks of it. I don't want to fuck with you, dude. Just leave me alone. Honestly, not here to cause trouble. Is there a way around this, or is this the end of it? Uh, that seems like the end of it to me. Seems like you can go around that way though, maybe. How do you land on those archways? Eh. Doesn't look like there's anything over there, so I'm guessing there's not a way to go, but I can get down onto here. I want to make this guy fall off. He's probably going to see me, isn't he? No? Well, I was the idiot for not getting a backstab. Goodbye. You can fight me out here if you want to fight me. Oh, fuck. Don't push me off. Please die. Okay, good. That was too close. Whew. 22,000 souls. We can get that key. Oh, that was the first way, my bad. My bad. So apparently there is a covenant in here as well. Don't quite know where, though. By the looks of it, it might be here. Okay, so it seems as if we may be in the correct place right here, so... It says to wiggle off this thing, um, and onto here, I'm guessing. So there is an enemy up here we've got to be careful of. But apparently this leads us to the Covenant. Oh, yep, yep, it does. 
We're gonna kill this man grub. Ew. Huh. Um, does that raise it again? Rosaria's bedchamber, apparently. Oh, uh, man, grubs, come on. Whoa. Oh, hey, you're using that, that spear thing. I think I got that, maybe. Oh my god. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Oh my god, dude. So this will lead to her, I'm guessing. Hey, why aren't you attacking me? Red sign soapstone. Okay, let's see who this is. Ooh, a bonfire. I'm all for that. Ooh, Helm of Thorns, Armor of Thorns, Gauntlet of Thorns, Legging of Thorns. Oh yeah, we didn't look at Faris's stuff, and we didn't look at that yet, so let's look at both of them at the same time. Okay, so... For one, let's look at Faris's hat first. Broad-brimmed leather hat traditionally used by master archers. The especially favoured... Uh, and especially favoured by forest-dwelling hunters. The name Faris is said to have once belonged to a hero, but is now more widely known as a style of hat. Um, so the appearance of Faris, or like the, uh, the appearance that we know of with this hat, there's a character in Berserk that is a bow wielder, or an archer I suppose, that looks exactly like the depiction of Faris here, in, uh, clothing at least. Um, so we got that, let's take a look at the bow as well. So we got the black bow of Faris, a black longbow named after a hero of old, of old known for the unusual stance from which it is fired. Has a longer range than standard bows, but successful use usage requires a trained, dexterous hand. Oh, you can triple a shot. Uh, you can triple shot with it. Wow. Okay, that's awesome. Oh, oops. I didn't mean to do that. Um, okay, we also got... We also got Kirk's stuff. The thorned. Uh, thorned. Legging of thorns. Okay. Leggings of Kirk, the notorious Knight of Thorns. A dense patch of thorns grows from its surface. A fitting item for a murder, uh, for the murderous Kirk. For even the simple act of rolling can damage enemies when wearing this attire. Awesome. Alright, yep, that's the same. Yep, that's the same. I think it's all the same. Um, actually the helmet sometimes has different stuff. No, guess not. That sucks. Alright, cool. So, we lit that. Let's see what Rosaria has to say. Oh. It's a woman who's turned into a slug. This oh no, she hasn't turned into a slug. She's, she's a full-on person that is looking after a slug. Mother of Rebirth. Rosaria's fingers. Wait, didn't we know someone that was in... that had that name? Uh... Yellow Finger Hazel, or whatever it was? Oh, off a pale tongue. Yeah, I got, I got three of those. What else can I do? Oh! Alter appearance? Offer pale... Uh, we did that. Reallocate attributes. The price of rebirth is paid in pale tongues. Rebirth can be performed five times 
during this lifetime do you wish to be reborn? No. So, alter appearance? Oh, that's an awesome way of doing respecs and re, uh... Like, changing the, the look of your character. That's awesome. So let's look at Rosaria's fingers. Is it a ring, or what is it? Rosaria's fingers. Pledge oneself to Rosaria's fing fingers covenant. Sacred seal of the Archdeacon Klimt, who served Rosaria, mother of rebirth. Equipped to pledge oneself to the Rosaria's Fingers Covenant. Rosaria's Fingers collect tongues in, the, in her name. Some do it to be reborn, others do it to help comfort their voiceless goddess. Oh, that's why she can't talk. Yeah, this is so much like, um... Uh, Quelag's sister in Dark Souls 1. I mean, you even find the Armor of Thorns right here next to her like you do in Dark Souls 1 as well. That is, after you've defeated Kirk a number of times. Um, so there was one thing outside that we didn't check. Oh shit, why did I just rest at that? All these things are back, we can just run past them though. No, leave me the fuck alone, dude. Yeah, so we're gonna check out what's down here. Across this way. Is it just a shortcut? Of some sort? To get back to the outside? Yeah, by the looks of it. <clears throat> so let's pull the lever and see if it goes up higher. If it goes up higher while we're not on it, that's a big problem. Oh no, it goes down. Okay. Shit. Alright. Can we pull it back up? Alright, cool. So let's go use these souls, I guess. We've got quite a few. Oh, the atmosphere is great. Are they cro- uh... Are they caskets? I, th I thought they were like babies' cots. Alright, let's go use these souls and then we'll get back to the list of collecting stuff. Um, we still do have that other place that... We have to check in the cleansing chapel for that uh, NPC I was talking about, but we'll get to that in just a second. Okay, um, why are you standing up with your sword drawn? Mm. Finger of Rosaria, oh shit. I see that you are now a finger of Rosaria. Your path is wholly different to mine. Gentle unkindled, I bid you farewell. No, what? If we meet again, it will be as adversaries. Oh shit. Gentle unkindled, if we meet again. No! Fuck, I didn't mean to fuck up a quest line. God damn it. Fuck. No. Well, maybe that's what you're meant to do for her quest line? I don't know. Shit. Alright, let's buy that key and we'll go up in that tower. Alright, do we have any souls? Oh uh, no, we have the demon soul. Oh yeah, we gotta see what that does. So let's take a look. Take a look-see. Bloodleth. Show us what we got. What is our prize? So we got... Boulder Heave? Or Havel's Ring? Oh fuck yeah! Um, okay, so... I need 5,000, I have fucking... I'm 700 off. Ah, uh, damn it. I have no souls except for the demon soul. But we can reinforce the rest of this flask, which is good. So we have 10. I wonder what the maximum is. Maybe the maximum is 20. Alright, cool. We don't have any more Titanite scales at the moment, so that won't do us any good to reinforce. But... Let us go outside and see... What this tower leads to. Ugh, area loading. God damn. It's not even that big of an area. 
But I guess that, I don't know, it has to load the whole map, I guess, since technically the whole map is interconnected except for this one area. And I guess Lothric Castle as well. Alright, let's see. Tower key. Alright, we go up. What's up here? Oh, I didn't miss anything just then, did I? No, it's just an opening. Okay, good. Yep, I knew we'd go across this bridge. We'll have to go down there in a second. What's up here, though? Oh, okay. What the fuck is this? Hold up, hold up. I want to jump down and get this item in the ladder first so we can easily get back onto the roof. Um, yep. Wasn't there an item up here? Where did I see that? Oh no, I guess not. It's just a snuggly crow's nest. Where is the actual crow? Me, me, um. Where the fuck is the actual crow? There's not even a crow in here. Where the fuck is it? Alright, let's go check out what's up there. I think that's the bell. Hmm. I swear that there was an item up there before. Oh, okay. Back over here. Let's go see what's up, and then we'll see what's down. Or maybe this goes down. I thought it would have gone up, but... Yeah, it does. Okay. Hmm. Alright. Okay. Um, just a lever to pull it back up. Yep, the bell and an item. Firekeeper soul. Why are they in this game? Firekeeper soul. Um, it's not an a tool or an item. So what is it? Firekeeper's soul, it's a key item. Soul of a firekeeper who returned from the abyss. This firekeeper preserves the bonfire and serves its champion. She is said to have soothed and accepted the dark sigil which has tainted her soul, and yet her soul will one day embed itself in the bosom of another firekeeper. Is this the soul of of the firekeeper downstairs? Or is it one who's already dead? It says this firekeeper preserves the bonfire and serves its champion, which is exactly what the one downstairs does. Okay. I'm very confused. But I'm thinking that is the correct assumption. Alright, let's see if we can get this item down here. Fuck, I doubt we can. Is there anything, any other way to get it? Um... To be honest, that way seems safer, but... Yeah, screw it. Nope. Alright, let's see if we can get this. Maybe I'm doing it the wrong way. Maybe I've got to, like... Huh, I wonder if we can drop down to that, onto that and see what's, if there's anything around there. I'm probably doing it the wrong way. Maybe you just got to sprint, like, full force at it. Yep, there we go. Oh my god, okay. Uh, firekeeper robe, firekeeper gloves, firekeeper skirt. 
Very interesting. Alright, fine, I keep a skirt. Skirt worn by the guardian of the shrine. The fire keepers were robed of light, uh, robbed of light to better serve as vessels for souls. Only those who cherished the writhing, searing darkness were given the keeper's black attire. Okay, fire keeper's gloves. Manchettes worn by the guardian of the shrine. The fire keepers were blah blah blah, same thing. Uh, fire keepers top. That is her attire though. And by the sounds of it, that was her soul, so what is the thing downstairs? That's her corpse. Fuck what? Seriously? That's the fall distance? What is this shit? The Souls games are not platformers. Why do you do this? Why do you do this, FromSoft? We're gonna die just from sliding down this. Estus ring? What the fuck is this shit now? What is happening in this game? Ooh! Increases HP restored with Estus flask. This ring was entrusted to a certain firekeeper, but in the end she never met her champion, and the ensuing tragic farce became a favorite tale of the masses. Oh, so this firekeeper down uh, that we found, the corpse, that's not the one in the shrine, obviously, but it was the one previous to her, by the sounds of it. Um, I didn't get my souls. Fuck my life. Gotta go back up, quickly. Yep, god damn it. Is this accurate? Okay, damn, that's got fucking half my health. Time to homeward burn.